Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. It is hump day, y'all. It is hump day. Otherwise known on here as crafting. Yesterday is my day where I invest in all of my making projects. And I have been hard at work on all my design team projects, plus a few others. And I'm excited to share some of those with you this week. Um, I'm definitely going to be sharing first the the beautiful vintage stationery box projects. I will tell you there are so many things that I'm mad crazy in love with about this box. These tickets in particular, oh, amazing. And when I take you through the projects, I will explain to you why I'm just swooning over certain of their items like those little vellum pieces. Oh yes, folks, gorgeous. So I will be back on probably later today with at least one or two of the projects and maybe I'll schedule the others for um, tomorrow or the day after. And then I have the In Love Arts projects to share with you. So it's an exciting week of project shares. It really is. This, folks, was a joy to work with. A joy. And I will tell you in advance that this stamp stamped so well without being seasoned, which shocked me. As you know, I put it to the test. So I'll tell you my favorite pieces about the box and why. Um, I said initially I thought the box could make three books. I think it's going to make more. I underestimated how far those supplies will go if they're carefully used. So that's something I'm going to cover in my video. I want to say thank you so much for all your comments. I'm glad the click and ship was useful. So here's what I've done. I had a wonderful subscriber. I believe her name is Sandra. Tell me that there are some great videos for click and ship. So I went and watched them this morning and I found one that I think is fabulous. So I'm linking it down below and as an end screen. Watch this video. It's not complicated, it's well explained, and it shows you how to ship from home. That being said, see that pile? Okay, so none of my boxes have been picked up. Not my large uh, game board boxes, of which there are six, because I have my swap boxes for Jelly Bean, Carmen, I have my box for, Dem um, for Monty, my box for Kayla for her food and medical supplies. I have a box for Pat. I, I've got a stack of them. They didn't show up. When I went online today to check with my confirmation number, now it's saying that they're having difficulties and they can't respond right now. So I'm worried that they're canceling home pickup in Brooklyn and they just haven't told us. And I'm, I'm concerned about that because how am I going to get these boxes out, y'all? I can't ask a neighbor to do it. They already are very graciously doing all emergency runs, but in this building, we're trying very hard not to leave at all. So for instance, yesterday, uh, Hiram, I prefer that you all call him by his name. I called him the super initially just so you would know who he is, but it doesn't sit right with me. He's my friend and his family and I are friends. So I'm just going to call him. His real name is Hiram, but I call him Hiram. I have since I moved in. Just like they all call my husband Puerto Rico because of his initials. So that's what my husband's nickname is in the building is Puerto Rico. Or the kids call him Jingle Hopper, but that's a long story. So Hiram, um, as you know, is recovering from major surgery. But his wife went out yesterday and got like a big lot. I don't know where she got it from. I think she went down by the area I tell you all I go to because I like it better. It's less expensive. It's more real. And she got us ground meat freshly ground up I don't know how she did but she did and so Isabella one of our wonderful she's such a good cook she made everybody the most amazing spaghetti dinner last night amazing but part of my challenge y'all is that I can't ask them to go to the post office certainly not with this many game board boxes that would be two shopping carts full and I can't jeopardize their health so I don't know maybe my husband's right when I go to the pharmacy I'll pick like the two most important and I will pay for UPS for those. And the rest will just have to wait till this is over. If they're not picking up, then they're not picking up and there's nothing I can do. Um, this is so frustrating. I'm going to try my office, Brooklyn office again. They're just not answering their phone. That's pretty normal for them. But I'm going to try again. I'll give you an update on that. But meanwhile, those of you that found the click and ship useful, I'm putting a video link down below and as an end screen. Because Sandra, one of our subscribers, let me know that there were tons of really good videos on how to do it. And so I went and looked at a bunch for you this morning. And I did find one that was very easy to follow and very informative. So I'm putting it down below and as an end screen. So those of you who don't know how to ship from home will be able to ship from home. Now, Betty Waldeck, who you know has been here from day one, has asked, how do you upload pictures on Instagram? And I told Betty, it depends. 
you know, are you doing it from your cell phone? If you're doing it from your cell phone, it's so simple because there's a feature and I will show her very quickly um, because I told her what the feature was. There's a feature that allows you to do it very, very easily, Betty. But if you're doing it from your laptop, it's a little different. And that's why I was asking you, what device are you using to do it? Because it actually makes a difference for how I explain it to you. Um, sorry, our internet is very slow and I'm just assuming it's because everyone's streaming. Okay, Betty, let me see if I can bring this close enough. Do you see, no, you can't see it on my camera. There's a little plus sign inside a box, Betty. When you hit that button, it says photo library or take photos. So I'll go to browse photo library and all my pictures will come up and then you just pick the picture you want. You hit it and then you hit done. And that's how you upload a picture to Instagram. There are videos too on how to do that. And I will try to source one uh, for those of you. There are a few of you that were sort of Instagram avoided who are now interested in going on Instagram. So I will definitely, you've let me know that you're having some struggles with Instagram. I will find a video that will be useful for you um, so that you know how to upload a video onto Instagram and I'll share it with you later this week. So what else can I report? Good news. Michelle Bastian is leaving ICU. Your prayers and well wishes worked and certainly helped her through her recovery. She received your text. She saw your messages down below. Thank you. So she's going to be moving from ICU into a regular room and then home. So she is recovering. Now that doesn't mean we're out of danger, y'all. Just means that she's going to need support now to recover at home. So please continue to keep her in your well wishes. Please continue to keep her in your thoughts and your prayers and leave her messages. And you see she's commenting. So that means her brain is working. She's functioning. She's breathing. It's great news. It's great news. But let's continue to support her through this. I want to give you a quick update on Sabrina, crafty mom and son. Zach is doing better, but Sabrina is struggling. She is. Um, she lives with a health condition that makes this virus more complicated, and she is living with chest pressure and shortness of breath. Now, that hasn't stopped her from working on some kind of surprise for my building, but she's still living with this virus and a struggle, or what we assume is the virus because she was never tested, but she is having Whatever this infection is, is having an impact on her chest. So please keep Sabrina in your thoughts and prayers, please. Please. I know her husband's doing a great job looking after her, but we still need to do our part too. And again, I'm going to remind you, if you're mailing, please support her challenge and send happy mail in. This is a time when she needs it most of all, truly. The last piece of news is not the best news, and that is that Anna Stratus is still very unwell, and we are all very concerned. So for those of you that pray, I need your prayers. I really do. Um, Anna's a good person, folks. And she is a constant source of support here. She, she crocheted for everybody. She made beautiful embellishments for everybody. She sent out racks of love. She's an active member of our community. And she's ill right now. And she's worried. She doesn't want to expose her family to this. So she has isolated herself. And she doesn't want to support anyone in her community. She's a very responsible person, but that she's going this alone and she is not doing well. So please, please keep her in your prayers and your thoughts today. She's really in my heart today. And, and I want for you only that you should feel better. That's what I want. I want a recovery for you. So people, please join forces. And again, if you are sending out mail, please send her a get well and encouragement card. She needs an encouragement card right now. That's something I think I can mail. We have one mailbox nearby. It's kind of wonky about whether they pick up or not. But the carrier said that he can take. Both of them said they can take it, even the replacement carrier. They just can't take big boxes like mine. They can take small envelopes. So I can get a, at least encouragement cards. So please make sure you send one to Anna. I heard from Carmen today. She is doing better and she's watching her health and she's trying to take really good care of herself. Thank you all so much for checking in on her. I appreciate it. And thanks for alerting me to the fact that something was wrong. I, I know that y'all saw I was juggling a lot of balls and you know how much I care about Carmen. So I appreciate it. A uh, special message to Lisa. Thank you for that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful message you left me. You know, I juggle a lot of balls. It's true. I'm teaching. I'm back teaching. I'm trying to make sure everyone gets fed. Um, I'm worried about people in our community 
you know, we only found out about Leticia because she asked for help for a neighbor who was starving. She didn't say anything about herself, but Cruz is one smart cookie. Cruz, Cruz can figure stuff out. She's like a jelly bean. She's got a razor sharp mind. So she figured it out and took care of it. And I know that Leticia told me today what a difference that made. And I have Leticia's permission to share her mailing address. And she's so thrilled about the challenge for her in support of autism. She's really, really excited. So I will be able to make that video today and upload it. So I can announce what the challenge is and how it's going to work. Um, last but not least, Kayla is receiving boxes and she's been sending me so, she's so excited. This tells you something all about the dire situation she was in. Every box that arrives, she sends me a, a video of how excited she is and her family is so relieved. So like my tuna came today, D's, D, your box came and oh my goodness, it just put Kayla over the moon. She's getting, she's receiving the boxes folks and what a difference it's making. It's like getting hope. You know, hope in a box. I'm annoyed because I've got a huge game box full of food waiting for her that no one has picked up. So maybe that's the one box I'll take to UPS. Um, Pat has a grocery delivery coming today and she too is receiving some online food orders. But she's also getting groceries delivered thanks to Michelle's friend. And aren't we lucky that Michelle arranged that? Because we couldn't even get a pickup window. We couldn't get any delivery it's gotten even crazier there in the last week in St. Cloud and they're even more short staffed because people are starting to become ill. So we are so grateful to you, Janice. Janice is the name of Michelle's friend. We're so grateful to you. Thank you for doing this for us. Really. Thanks to you, Pat Lee. So we managed to put a band-aid on it, y'all, together. We did. We put a band-aid on it together. And I'm very excited about that. But uh, you know, the problem is we don't have a long-term solution. We just don't. Um, and until we devise one, what did I tell you? Until we devise one, we are going to be in trouble. And that's just the way that it is. We're going to do our best and we're going to work together. And that's the only way we're going to solve this problem. So I'm wishing for each of you safety and health. I'm wishing for you that you have nothing but positive experiences today. I hope you're crafting. I hope you're making lots of wonderful projects. I hope you're pouring all of our angst into art making because that's really, really important. Um, what are and I hope that, yeah, I just hope good things for y'all. And I'll see y'all later today. Bye for now.